Welcome to Hema's Home and Garden in USA. Today, I'm going to cook and show you my garden-grown collard greens in the South Indian style. This is the amount of fresh collard greens I harvested from my garden. Make sure to wash the leaves thoroughly. Stack 4 or 5 leaves together, roll them up and chop them. If you are using store bought collard greens, make sure to remove the middle stalks because the leaves might be very mature. Since my collards are nice and tender, I am just trimming the stalk ends. I got a large bowl full of chopped leaves. For this recipe, you need 1 cup of dry roasted peanuts, 4 dry red chilli peppers and 1 handful of garlic cloves. Grind the dry roasted peanuts and dry red chilli peppers together into a coarse powder. Pound the garlic cloves with skin using a mortar and pestle and keep it aside. Now take a large pan or a wok and add 2 tablespoons of oil and add the pound garlic cloves to the oil and saute it for a minute. Now reduce the heat to medium and add the chopped collard greens to the pan and gently keep flipping it so that the heat is evenly distributed to all the leaves. As you keep doing this, the leaves will drastically reduce in volume. Now you can notice the leaves has reduced into one fifth in its volume. Now sprinkle a teaspoon of salt evenly all over the leaves and mix it thoroughly. You can check the taste for the salt and add more salt if needed. Again, make sure to mix all the leaves thoroughly so the salt is evenly distributed. At this point, you can add a cup of water and close the pan with a lid and let it cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, remove the lid and mix it again thoroughly. Now the collard greens are nicely cooked and it's time to add the coarsely ground peanut powder. Flip the greens thoroughly so that the peanut powder is applied all over it. You can switch off the heat now or even before adding the peanut powder, it doesn't matter. Our collard greens are now ready. In case you don't want to add peanut powder to your collard greens, you can add grated fresh coconut to this recipe. And this recipe is not only for collard greens, it works very well for moringa leaves as well. Try this recipe and let me know how you like it in the comment section. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video.
if you think this video is useful to you please like the video and also please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching